the beaming flashes of light, the beat drops, and the energy. Electronic dance music festivals have become home to psychoactive drugs like MDMA. And because of the lack of safety, many attendees fall victim to the drug's side effects. Kristen Karras is the manager of health communications at DanceSafe. Karras says the most common accident associated with MDMA is hyperthermia. What we're seeing that's more often is that someone would have taken an MDMA-like um, substance or, and then they suffer from heat stroke because they didn't properly hydrate. Dee Dee Goldsmith is the creator of the Amend the Rave Act campaign. The campaign is a result from the loss of her 19-year-old daughter who died of a heat stroke after taking MDMA before an EDM concert in 2013. The Amend the Rave Act campaign, which is one that I initiated after my daughter Shelley's death to try and change a law that is inadvertently um, having the uh, consequence, the not intentional consequence, I guess it's an unintended consequence of uh, preventing uh, EDM promoters and organizers from instituting safe setting measures um, such as water, drug education on site for kids that may have made the decision to, uh, to use drugs, um, adequate medical personnel. Goldsmith's daughter Shelley was a student at the University of Virginia on a full ride scholarship. Shelley's death was very unexpected to her family because of the person she was. The point is that if, if it can happen to Shelley, it can happen to anybody because this is not somebody that abused drugs. 